My name is Kai Leitner. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I've been climbing for nine years. First and middle name are Kai and Imani. They mean will amount to peace in Swahili, which is, I think it's pretty cool. Right after the national championships, I decided to take a trip to Spain and try to send my first 9A, in which I wanted it to be Aravea. This was my first time going outside the United States for an outdoor rock climbing trip. I was pretty stoked to come here to Spain. My name is Shane Messer. I've known Kai since he was six. Kai's mom generally takes him uh, anywhere he goes in the world. She's always said, you know, if, if there's ever a time not able to go, then I'd like you to go with him. But we need someone to make sure he's not gonna, you know, walk off a cliff, fall into a manhole, you know, any, anything like that, so. Shane and I have been climbing together since I've started climbing. His mom brought him in and said, I found him on top of the basketball goal at our house. He climbed and he left not like yeah, super was, excited. When I left the gym, I was crying. <laughs> yeah. But then he kept coming back and coming back and coming back and then he got less goofy, more graceful, and, and now he's here. When I walked up to Aravea, I can understand what Chris Sharma was thinking when he bolted the line. It's huge and overhanging and it's really inviting to climb. This wall is freaking tall. It's so freaking tall. I'm psyched though. I'm gonna try to stay. We'll see. My first day on Arabea, I was able to do all the moves pretty quickly. However, linking them was, was the very difficult part. Staying focused during all those difficult sections was really hard for me. Um, a little frustrating. I got into the crux easy, and then the stuff at the end is just kind of spitting me off. forget how to do them all. Pretty happy, I made some really good progress. I got pretty far without them falling, and then after that, I think I only had like one or two takes, so that was pretty good. Minus a hole breaking off. I broke it. Hold on. What also inspired me was the fact that I knew I was gonna be climbing with Chris Rama and knowing that he had bolted it, him Bolting all these lines that inspire other people, I think it's really interesting. Hi, hey, Ron. Good to see you. Good to see you Welcome, too. huh? Welcome. Oh, what do you think? It's like really long. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that move? Yeah, I don't even use this. I just go like straight into the pinch. So we would go left into the two finger popping, oh. and then cross to the crimp, and then get like a like another pocket, and then go to another pinch, and go to like some balls over here. But I think everyone else since then has done it the other way. So, the way is so much there was like this move that you like, you dine out to this hold. It was like a, like a perfect mandarin orange. <laughs> this perfect ball. Exactly, it is. It really. I like went to get my heel hook, and my heel hook slipped. I couldn't get my foot on oh. the wall. Oh, so you're right there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Just right there, because the, the top part is just consistent climbing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's true. It, that are like good holds, but you can't really match. So you can shake one hand, but then you have to keep yeah. moving, right? So it's exactly. like- Exactly. The individual movements on Ayurveda weren't too bad. It was just the fact that you're really pumped and tired and it's really hard to stay mentally focused for um, that long of a period of time. Yeah, here we are at my house, Eravella, the other Eravella. So, yeah, it's cool to see Kai here and give him a bit of the tour, show him what I've been up to. Yeah, just great for him to see as he's developing to see these amazing places. And he only has 10 days, so it's a hard thing to do to come and do the hardest route you've ever done in such a short amount of time. I think he's got a really good chance of doing it, but I think more than anything, it's just a great opportunity for him to come and see what's out there and get psyched and kind of open his mind to all this amazing climbing. Yeah, I hope he does the route. Got a little cut up. I'm just gonna have to rip it off and tape it up and get back on the route.
just like this end, hopefully. We'll see. I just gotta try hard. I fell like a clip away from the anchors. Pretty close. Pretty frustrated. Not too frustrated to stop trying. I have two days left of my trip, and uh, I'm just gonna give it all I got. six and day one I believe was the fact that I knew the route a lot better and so I was able to kind of keep moving and waste less energy during sections that weren't so difficult for me. And all the moves I can honestly say that I thoroughly enjoyed while climbing it and I felt like it was my style. I called my mom right after I sent her there, and she freaked out a bit. Uh, I actually sent it today, so. Mama, you're on speakerphone. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. They're also videotaping this too, so. <laughs> oh, baby, I am so proud of you, God. I, oh my God, I have barely been able to sleep. I've been looking at my phone like all day long. I keep looking at it, trying to see. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It, it felt like really good. Like after I got past the crooks and. Did the rest of the route, like I took my time and I didn't get really talked. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs>